Detroit Urban Survival Training. One of the questions we've had uh, from the internet is, what did I mean in a video where I said, the hand is not made to hold things very well? That is a biomechanical reality. And any of you out there that are training that think that the hand holds things very well uh, is mistaken. And the reason I said that is because people that are holding guns and holding knives are losing their weapons. Uh, people that are stabbing people, even in self-defense, are actually having their hand go down the blade and cut their hand open uh, because they didn't know that the hand doesn't hold the knife very well. Uh, same thing occurs with firearms. A very large police officer here in Detroit, which is a, a part of a special unit, uh, told me that he was holding his weapon like he normally does, and this is a bodybuilder, much larger than most nine out of 10 people. And he said he was holding his weapon and a 15 year old kid snatched the gun out of his hand straight forward. And that was one example of many where people lose their guns in real life to people that have no training. And the cop was holding it hard, he was doing his best. And what we discovered is that uh, this is a common occurrence, not uncommon. So what happens is the hand, uh, the way that it's configured, it's like a lever, it's part of biomechanics. For you people out there that are saying lever in the biomechanics uh, videos. <laughs> so yes, it is a lever, which is part of the biomechanical operations of the human body. Uh, so when you turn the um, weapon down, it rips from the fingers. Uh, and that is because the hand is not made to hold things very well. It also is true when you use your hand uh, and you open your hand and you manipulate the hand many different ways to open the hand against the person's will. It's very easy, even if the person is much stronger than you, to open their hand. And that's some of the things we'll be showing again in some future videos as well. Uh, but remember, what we're telling you are things that will help save your life. And these are things we learned the hard way through actual violence, uh, defending people here in Detroit against actual violent criminals, people that are attacking people. So what we're sharing with you are things that can help save your life in real life situations.